78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC, Lions Den Boxing Community. For those who don't know, now you know. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. If you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. All right, quick question for the boxing fans out there. What is the purpose of the cap, man? I'm trying to figure something out here. I got my ideas, but it just can't be as simple as, as my mind is, is letting me lead me to believe, okay? Um, let's start off with this. Before I get to the actual topic of what we're talking about, the reason for me making this video, let me do a brief history. Devin Haney, who's only 24 years old, who is undisputed, the youngest undisputed champion in boxing history. This man has called out everybody in his division for a showdown. Okay, Shakur Stevenson has just gotten to Devin Haney's division one fight ago this year. Okay, so let's remove Shakur from the equation for now. But we'll come back to Shakur. Devin Haney has called out Javante Tank Davis for years. And for years, we've heard, you have, you've heard, not just me, but you, the videos are still up on YouTube. Articles are still on the internet for anybody who wants to fact check what I'm saying. Every time Devin Haney has called out Javante Tank Davis, has said he wanted to fight Tank Davis, he was told, hey, you're with the wrong promotional company. You don't bring no money to the table. Oh, your father. Oh, Devin Haney makes too much money. He's going to ask for too much money. We've heard every excuse in the book, right? Devin Haney's the email champion. We hear all this for years. We've all heard it. Now, finally, Lomachenko's team, since they're in front of Devin Haney and Bill Haney, they actually admitted that they were ducking Devin Haney for four years. They admitted it. You all saw that too. Even though when I was saying that years ago, people said I was cat. But now they've admitted it. Fine. So we know Javante Tank Davis' team does not want him to fight Devin Haney. Tank Davis fans keep saying weird stuff like, oh, well, well, uh, 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 Devin, he, he would top rank. He don't want to fight Tank if he would top rank. What do you mean? Devin Haney was just a free agent before he went to top rank. See, this is the part of the, your story that you keep getting caught up when you don't know what you're talking about. Devin Haney was once with the zone, matchroom, the zone, right? He couldn't get a fight with Javante Tank Davis. Tank wouldn't fight him because Tank's team and you guys, his fans, said he can't get the fight because he's on the zone and he's across the street and PBC don't cross the street. That's what he said. So Devin Haney did not re-sign his contract with Matchroom. He still worked with Matchroom, but he didn't sign the contract because he wanted to be free to move around any network he, he could to make a fight, which is how he ended up eventually going over to top rank to fight George Cambosis for Undisputed. How was he able to do that? Because he was a free agent. That's why. Javante Tank Davis didn't want to fight the man when he was with the zone. Didn't want to fight the man when he was a free agent. Now he's with top rank, and the excuse is, oh, he with top rank. I don't want to hear this nonsense, and I'm, I'm disappointed in boxing fans for repeating this nonsense when you all know that Tank Davis just fought Ryan Garcia, who was on the zone. But y'all just told me last year, and the year before last, that Tank ain't going to fight Devin because Devin is with the zone. But it's okay to fight Ryan Garcia, who's with the zone. Y'all said PBC don't cross the street. Well, we can show numerous occasions where the PBC do cross the street to make the fights that they actually want to make. All these promotional companies work together when they want to work together. Period. So now... Shakur Stevenson comes up to 135, 
while Devin Haney is on his way out of 135, Shakur comes up to 135, fights a dude that nobody ever heard of named Yoish. Salute to Shakur. This is not a Shakur bashing moment. We're just being honest here. Shakur fought a dude nobody ever heard of, but he looked good beating him up. We're all proud of Shakur. But immediately after that fight, random weirdos pop up talking about Devin Haney's duck and Shakur, which is unbelievable. When Devin Haney is currently signed to fight Vasil Lomachenko, a man who has dominated the lightweight division for years, a man who has dominated the pound for pound uh, list for years, a man who is a legend, he's going to fight him, but out of nowhere, Devin Haney's ducking Shakur, right? Now that's cap, right? That's what that is. They say, oh, well, Devin energy change when you bring up Shakur. See, this is all a tactic to get Devin off of uh, Tank Davis's heels, right? So people are acting like they're Shakur fans to get Devin off of Sh Tank Davis's heels. I've seen this all play out before when Deontay Wilder was hunting Anthony Joshua. I saw people pushing Luis Ortiz onto Deontay Wilder. I saw everybody doing that right here on YouTube. And then when Wilder smokes Ortiz, they turn around and call Ortiz a bum, right? This is That's the tactic they use. So anyway, they try to push Shakur and De Devin onto Shakur, right? As a distraction tactic, right? Even Floyd was doing that. I think Devin Haney and Shakur need to fight. So what did Bill Haney and Devin do? Since they're on their last fight on with top rank, their last fight under the contract, they go to top rank and say, hey, uh, can we get a fourth option, a fourth fight option for Shakur Stevenson? Bob Aram says, nah. Now, you guys all know this is true, but but the problem, the thing that's irritating me is how people can can blatantly play ignorant, can pretend like they don't know something, can purposely lie just because you want to make Devin Haney look bad or you want to fit some narrative. So now, this is the reason me, for me making the video. So now the new lie is this. Now there's a lie going around that because Devin Haney said in the press conference, right, that he's happy with the work of top rank and top rank feels like home. This is his home from that for now. He would like to stay with top rank. He's saying this ahead of the Vasil Lomachenko fight, right? So now since Devin said that, now Tank fans are jumping for joy, running around the internet, leaving comments everywhere talking about, see, he don't want to fight Tank. How are you going to want to fight Tank if he talking about staying with, 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 with top rank? Let me ask y'all a question. How does Devin Haney fight Javante uh, uh, Tank Davis? How? I mean, I mean, what, 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 is, what are the requirements? I just want to get some people on the record. Because when he was a free agent, Leonard Ellaby said Devin Haney wanted too much money. Even though they had never negotiated with Devin Haney to possibly make a fight, he just assumed that Devin's going to want, want too much money. We did all videos about this while it was happening, before you, most of you guys even was watching boxing, right? So now they're lying on Devin Haney, and they, they lying on Bob Arum, saying that Bob Arum said, this is what they say. They say Bob Arum said in an interview that he is not making Javante Tank Davis versus Shakur Stevenson or Devin Haney. That's the lie. That's the lie. And people will blatantly lie. And you wonder why these fighters is constantly disrespecting YouTubers, constantly disrespecting the fans. Because people will blatantly lie in order to, to get their agenda across. You don't like Devin Haney, so therefore, I'm going to just make something up. I'm going to take something and interpret it any way I want to. Right? Now, if I start doing that, y'all going to have a field day, a fit. You're going to be highly upset if I start taking anything these dudes say and twisting it for AdSense and clicks. Y'all going to have a fit. So all I'm asking you is, what is the purpose? If you just don't like Devin Haney, so you're just going to hate on him, at least be mad enough to admit it the way I do in basketball. Right? I tell you, I'm a Bucks fan. I don't care about your favorite team. I'm hating on all of them. I'm keeping it 100. 
You dudes can't do that. Y'all want to be seen as these real deal boxing fans, fair and down the middle and, and impartial and all this stuff when you're not that. You clearly have agendas and biases. Clearly. And all you got to do is be man enough, have the testicular fortitude to say, this is what it is on this channel. Right? That's all you got to say. So when you come to my video comment section and you say, Bob Aram just said, one of the brothers said, uh, oh, Bob Aram just said in an interview that he's not making um, Devin Haney versus uh, Shakur, Devin Haney or Shakur versus Tank Davis. So now Devin Haney's re-signing with top rank. He don't want the tank fight. Straight cap. Straight cap. That's what that is. Bob Aram never said that. What Bob Aram actually said was, when the media guy asked Bob Aram about uh, Javante Tank Davis versus Shakur Stevenson or Devin Haney, Bob said, those are all great fights, all great fighters. But the fighters have to be realistic. He said, I'm willing to work with Al Heyman. Uh, I'm willing to work with Eddie Hearn. I'm willing to work with anybody. But the fighters have to be realistic when it comes to the purses, the guaranteed purses, right? He said the, the reason why these big fights are not happening is because the fighters want huge guarantees up front. And he's putting the promoter in a position to lose money. He says if they do it the way Ray Leonard, Hagler, and the old school fighters did, which was take a, a, a minimal uh, guarantee up front and then get all your money on the back end, then more fights will be able to get made because there'll be less of a risk for the promoters. That's what Bob Aram literally said on video. So I'm like, what is this dude talking about? He said he's not making the fight. People just make stuff up, bro. Just say anything. To try to see, this is why I found out about this internet. Dudes don't really want to see the best versus the best. They don't really want to know who the best is in each weight class. That's a lie. They don't really want to know that. What they want to do is they want to be able to argue about who they think is the best. You see, because no one removes all the argument. They want to be able to argue about who they think is the best so that they have content to come on here every day and yell at each other. That's why these guys never want to see uh, uh, Mayweather versus Pacquiao because everybody was making money arguing about who will win the fight? When a fight actually happened, you you see every oh everybody quickly ran to the Mayweather side when a fight actually got signed. Well, I think Floyd gonna win. Wait a minute, you've been arguing for six years that Pacquiao gonna win. Now the fight signed and you, you done arguing. And then Pacquiao Floyd gonna win now all of a sudden. Wilder Joshua. They had to listen to these guys argue for years. Well, Wilder don't deserve this. Uh, Joshua will destroy Wilder. Blah, blah, blah. For years, we have to listen to this mess. Nobody actually wants to see the fight except for us. Right? So they did everything in their power to, to block the fight and hate on the fight because it was fun to come on the internet every day with a purpose of something to argue about. Right? Now, AJ versus Wilder look like it's going to finally happen. Well, they, who picking AJ? Nobody. Nobody. You see, it's all cap. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. These dudes just be wanting to argue on the internet because it's fun to them. They got nothing else to do. They want to argue. See what I'm saying? Me personally, I want to know who's the best out of all these guys. Devin Haney has the belts. But is he the best? I want to know. And we ain't going to know that for sure until Javante Tate Davis fights Devin Haney. Until Devin Haney and Shakur fight each other. Until uh, Devin Haney and Lomachenko fight. Right? Until Tank and Lomachenko fight. See, these, see, at least Devin Haney is out here fighting, uh, uh, challenging himself and fighting people. I'm not finna even talk about, listen, Ryan Garcia, fine, whatever. Ryan Garcia ducked Devin Haney, too. We all know that, too. Y'all saw it. Maybe some of y'all didn't see it. 
Ryan Garcia was Devin Haney's mandatory. He fought to be Devin Haney's mandatory, and then got in the ring in front of on national TV in front of everybody and said he don't want to fight Devin Haney. He want to fight Tank. That's a duck. Okay. Then he pulled out the Tank fight, the Tank negotiations. Somebody he finna fight Pacquiao. That did never happen. Okay. Yeah, now tell me I'm lying. Am I making this up? We know Tiafimo Lopez ducked Devin Haney. Ran all the way to 140. Okay? It's just the truth of the matter. This ain't about being no Devin Haney fanboy. This ain't about being emotional or whatever clever little tactics or words y'all want to use to, to uh, keep from dealing with the actual factuals that I'm dropping. This is the truth. Y'all dudes on this internet is, is out of control. Just tell me what, what what is the purpose of lying on this kid for? What is the purpose of lying? It's bad enough the man can't get no credit for the wins he get because y'all say he ain't got no power. Now y'all try to take away the one thing you know he does do, which is hunt down the best fighters in his division. He willing to step in there with everybody. Now y'all trying to take that away from him and make the boy look like a duck. I mean, this is crazy. This is absolutely ridiculous. So anyway, that's my two cents on the matter. And like I said, I ain't going to keep saying this. I'm not going to keep regurgitating uh, the same information. I like all these guys. Uh, Devin Haney is my favorite out of them. But I like all these dudes, and I'm going to support all these dudes. You know what I'm saying? And I want to know who the best is. You know what I mean? And that's the difference between Devin Haney fans and the rest of you guys. Y'all claim you believe your guy's the best, but as soon as somebody calls your guy out, you start running for the hills and, oh, he ain't going to fight him. No, he don't. Well, well he ain't did nothing. Well, well, why should he get? Man, he need to worry about this person. Man, then he need to go over there and worry about that person. Man, he need to worry about something else. That's what y'all do. You know I ain't lying. But anyway, that's my two cents on the matter, man. 78 Sports TV, salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash that like button. Hit the subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And I'm up out of here, though. Deuces.